guys, I'm Martikor and this time around I will tell you how to have a completely new pet adoption pool in The Sims 2. And when we're already at it, I'd like to tell you all I know about how spawning pets works and also give you some potentially useful mods on that matter. You know how whenever you start playing an existing neighborhood or create a new one, you always get the same strays like Moonshine, Grace, Pepper or Rover. And when you want to adopt a pet, you know by heart what the puppies and kittens will be. Susie is a Shiba Inu. Bailey, Simi, and Bonkers all look the same. It becomes super repetitive and boring after a while, and you've probably noticed how if you run out of baby pets in the adoption pool, the game doesn't regenerate them. Some people say that it does sometimes, but there are plenty of questions on the internet on how to refresh the adoption pool to have new puppies and kittens to adopt. Something I used to do, and probably a lot of you as well, was to have this one family in the neighborhood that would breed pets and put them up for adoption so that other sims could fulfill their wants, as they want baby pets pretty often. So first of all, if you want to get rid of all the same pets appearing in every neighborhood, you need to get a clean pet stealth hood. This is a neighborhood hidden in game files that you can see loading along with weather, exotic destinations, hobbies, etc. The original hood comes with 67 character files. This includes strays, adoption pool pets, and bin families, Roseland and Critter. Just download the clean stealth hood from Mod The Sims, unzip it, and put it in the folder in this destination, cutting out the original first. Better keep the previous version if you'd like to use it in the future. The clean stealth hood has no character files, so the bin families are now gone and the game needs to generate new strays and pets for adoption. And it does it once you call the pet adoption center. As far as I've noticed, the game usually creates up to four large dog puppies, three small dog puppies, and four or five kittens, plus a few adults of each as well, and with the same system as pre-made pets with some of them being more expensive and having learned commands. I tried to look up the exact game behavior on that in SimPE, but I can't make any sense of all of those algorithms, so I have no idea. This is a pure observation. And also a note, your game might freeze for quite a while, not exactly freeze because the time passes sometimes in between spawning, but it takes a minute, sometimes literally a minute, because once you call the adoption service, the game spawns new strays, the adoption pool, and baby pets. That's a lot. Why does it spawn strays in this process, you may ask? Because baby pets for adoption are created the same way as human babies for adoption. The game takes two random strays or adoption pool pets of opposite sex and mixes their DNA. They don't appear in the family tree, it's just DNA, but if one of the parents or both have a last name, that name will appear on the puppy or kitten, so it's easier to guess. It happened more than once in my game when I gave up Porthos Roseland for adoption. This is also why I love refreshing the pool completely. The baby pets end up being really nice mixes, very interesting looking, when every pre-made puppy and kitten except Scout is just purebred and very predictable. And also when you're not happy with the result, maybe you didn't get various enough pets, you can just quit the family without saving. Then go back, call again, and completely new pets will generate. Only after you save the game, those pets will save. Before you save, they're just somewhere in temporary memory. The same goes for when a playable sim is on a community lot while you're playing another family, they get a pet, and then you enter that family and you get a notification that they got a pet, and if you accept it, you can accept the pet if you don't like it, you can quit without saving, go again, and you will get a different pet. I think the only thing that always stays is what kind of pet that is, because there are two separate displays for those pets, and it depends on what your sim is doing on that community lot. So if they are getting a cat, you always get a cat. I think that's really good to know. 
So having a clean stealthhood already gives you a good head start to have original and never the same pets in each neighborhood. Of course to some extent because there are only so many breeds that the game can create. And the names can be very repetitive too because it loves to take names from the beginning of the list. So those that start with A, B, C or D. And they do tend to repeat. Maybe a mod for more or better names in the generator could help with that. And newly generated baby pets will just be named male kitten and stuff like that. So prepare for a lot of renaming. This will work in already existing neighborhoods such as Pleasant View, as long as you clean out the stealth hood before first launch of the neighborhood. And of course there are other stealth hoods that you can also clean out to avoid repetitive townies, for example. Pleasant Sims made an excellent tutorial on how to create a completely empty hood with no character files. And now, how to get new puppies and kittens in the adoption pool if the game refuses to create them after you've run out. This is something that I'm not sure works 100%, but it's a harmless method that's definitely worth a try. And also something that I just observed in my game throughout the years of gameplay. It technically requires a mod, but just for a little while. The mod is no stray respawn. Put it in your game, have it for a minute, at least up to the next save, maybe call the pet adoption service so the game knows it can't generate pets at the moment, then quit the game, take the mod out, go back in game, call again and let the magic happen. I couldn't test it properly in my game because I use this mod on a regular basis, so taking it out is exactly the method I just showed you. Even if I save and leave the game without the mod and then try again, the game will always generate at least one baby pet for me, even if the original stealth hoods and baby pets are already there. It just makes new ones up to the limit that I talked about earlier. It is strange, but it makes me think even more that this method works. Seems like when you take out the mod, the game is like, oh my god, I can finally spawn pets again, thank you! And it just spits out a bunch of baby pets for you to adopt. <laughs> there are two versions of No Stray Respawn. The original one by Pescado and an edited version by Midge the Tree. The latter is supposed to give you a 15% chance of baby pets appearing, but the game only tries to generate them at the first call. So if you don't get them then, you don't get them. Unless the pool is completely empty, I guess? So this version is probably better for general use. I will probably replace the Pescado one with this one. But if you'd like to fill your adoption pool with quite a few pets, I still recommend taking out the mod entirely. You can put it on your desktop somewhere temporarily, have a few sims, call the pet adoption service in different neighborhoods, and you're settled for quite some time. You can repeat the process whenever you feel like you need new pets. And please let me and others know in the comments if this method works for you. And I have some extra recommendations for you. To create adult pets, the game just chooses a breed. And there are plenty of them, but it's always nice to have more for variety. And some of them don't really look that much like this breed in real life, so it's also nice to have another version of it, maybe. You can download new pet breeds. Mod The Sims has a pets category that you can browse. Either dogs or cats. But remember to look for instructions when installing them, because probably most of them will go into the pet breeds folder, not into the downloads folder. You can create your own and just save it in Create a Sim. Or if you have an interesting pet born in your game, you can call the pet registry and register it as a new breed for 50 simoleons. And you can do it when the pet is still a baby, so that way you can see beforehand what it looks like as an adult. Isn't that cool? This is such an underrated feature. I don't see people talking about it anywhere. And it's awesome. I love it. And of course, whatever breed you have saved, the game might choose it for generating new pets. Also a must-have mod for baby pets is the one that enables fur patterns for them, so that you can see what they look like when they're little. Any spots they would have as adults, they will already show as puppies and kittens. Super useful. 
Does it work for baby pets that existed before installing the mod? But I'm pretty sure it works for their future babies. And another mod about baby pets is the one that replaces get kitten and get puppy wants with more general get a cat, get a dog. That way Sims will fulfill those wants, adopting or buying pets of any age. The get puppy or kitten want stays the same, so still your Sims might have a specific want for a baby pet. I really like this mod. Another tool that you might find useful sometimes is Baby Pet Creator by Christian Love. He is not as active in the community anymore, so it's really hard to find it without downloading a whole folder of mods. So I took liberty of uploading my own copy to Mediafire. I hope that's okay because that way you can just download this one file and get it in your game. This is a pet sculpture that lets you create baby pets from any chosen pets in the neighborhood. The baby pet immediately appears in your active family, so you can choose if you're keeping it or giving it up for adoption. So it's really useful to have a quickie puppy or kitten from a pet that you are actually playing, kind of like an artificial insemination or whatever. The downside of this mod is that the parents actually appear in the family tree of that pet, so if you put it up for adoption, it can be tricky sometimes if you use strays that never age. But it is an interesting tool that can be useful sometimes. And the cats hunt roaches is pretty cool too. Your cats can uh, be exterminators pretty much and get rid of cockroaches for you. Okay, I think that's it. This is all the advice I can give you on how to step up your pet game. And special thanks to The, As the Goth, and Jasmine for sending me the original pet stealth hood because of course I didn't have a backup. This was supposed to be a tiny little video that I thought would be like four minutes long. It's like a dog that you were told would be the size of a Maltese, but apparently the breeder meant Mastiff. It happens. So I hope that this video was of use for you, that you learned something. Sometimes people learn total basics from my videos and it's actually super satisfying. So as always, thank you very much for watching and subscribing to the next video and see you in the next one. Bye!